Hi, my name is Dwayne Miller and I'm here to talk to you today about process mapping and Lean Six Sigma. I have a friend who is in the health insurance industry and he asked me about a problem he had with one of the processes he has. His position is an implementation coordinator and it is his job to ensure that the plan that is purchased by an organization from our company is goes through the implementation process all the way to the go live date. So I said, what is the problem that you have? And he said, we keep missing our go live date. I said, well, here's what we can do. We can do a process map of what you're doing and then we can see if we can find out the problems by doing using that Lean Six Sigma tool. So we start with the implementation form and the three items that feed into that are three information items that feed into that are the plan requirements, the contact information, and the banking information. These three items come from the quote form and the sales agreement that's signed by the client. They feed into these. Now the next major activity is the IT department begins to build the system or the plan design that will support the members in the insurance plan. Once the plan design is built, the system is built, then the member data is loaded and tested, and then the go live date is planned, and then the implementation is complete. So this is our process map with the key activities for each one. The next thing we'll go for, we'll look at is the as is or the current state. How long does it take for all these activities to happen? So I asked my friend, how long does it take to complete the implementation form to give to the IT department? He said, oh, about eight weeks. I said, well, how long does it take the IT department to complete the plan design, to complete the, to build the system? He said, well, that takes about four weeks. I said, well, how long does it take them to load the member data and to test it. He said, oh, that takes another two weeks. And it takes another week to plan for and to go live. So it takes 15 weeks to get to the go live date, to the implementation date. I said, well, does the process, does it ever go a lot faster? Does it go well sometimes? He goes, yeah, it does that. I said, well, how long does it take on these steps when it, when it does that? And he goes, well, it takes about two weeks to get the implementation form to the IT department. It takes the IT department about two weeks to do the plan design. It takes about one week for them to load the member data and to test it. it. takes about three days to go live. So right here, if we could do this, and we'll call this our 2B, our, our future state, what we want to get to, we cut almost 10 weeks out of the process. And we could probably make that go live date then. So he said, how do we get from here to here? I said, well, there's a couple tools Lean Six Sigma has. What we want to do is we want to find out what the problems are, the root cause of the problems. Because if you have a problem that starts early in the process, by the end of the process, it can be a lot of headaches. Uh, and, and in this case, can make you go past that go live date that you promised in the sales agreement. So one of the tools that Lean Six Sigma has is what they call a root cause analysis or a fishbone diagram that they could use. Not only do you look at the symptoms, but what are the root causes of that? Another tool you use, you can use along with root cause are the five whys. That's asking the question why five times till you get to the root cause. What we found out was that the implementation form, the information for this, wasn't always fully provided and it wasn't accurate as well. So what we did, and the other thing was the IT department as well, was not getting all their information to build, to build the uh, system, to do the plan design. So another process that we use with Lean Six Sigma is called mistake proofing. How do we prevent 
these mistakes from happening. Make it happen right the first time so we don't have to redo it. So the IT department doesn't have to re-request that information. <clears throat> we did mistake proofing by using checklists. Everyone that had anything to do with providing information to complete this form or to what the IT department needed, and that's clients, the sales team, the bank, my friend, all had a checklist, and my friend was the one who who, who enforced the use of the checklist. That way we got to where we reduced the amount of time it took for each one of these activities in the process to, uh, to take place, and we made his team started making the go-live date. So here's the process that we mapped out. Here's the Here's the as-is or what the current state was, the 15 weeks. Here's the to-be or the future state or the goal was to cut out those 10 weeks. We got it down to five and a half weeks. We used the Lean Six Sigma tools of root cause analysis, five whys, mistake proofing, and our mistake proofing was a checklist. And we were able to knock out 10 and a half weeks out of the process. So this is process mapping for Lean Six Sigma, and I'm Dwayne Miller. Thank you.